questions? But Kenny, how deflating was it to know that Reggie wasn't going to be able to play, and how did you guys value yourself emotionally? I mean, you know, whenever you have a, a player like Reggie not playing, you know, you, you feel bad, you, you want him on the court, and, you know, we just wanted to rally together as a team. We knew it would be a team effort. So we just came today and thought about, okay, Durant got to step up, Trey got to step up, so many people got to step up. So that's what we did. What did you guys say to him? I'm sure he was pretty disappointed. Oh, we just told him to keep his head up, you know. He's he's a guy that even though he's not playing, he's still going to be with, with the team, encouraging players. So we just told him to keep his, uh, his head up. Durant, you, uh, you guys have been without him nine times you know, already this year. It, it doesn't make it easier necessarily, but the fact that you've been through this already, you know, once playing without him, did it almost, you know, make it seem like less of a big deal? Maybe the outside world might think it, might think it would be. <clears throat> well, it's, it's a game of basketball. You can't uh, just because one person go down, just quit and just say uh, he's down, so you can't play. <clears throat> he's out, so I'm pretty sure he wanted us to step up and do the things that uh, that's necessary that coach tells us to do to win this basketball game. Um, uh, previous practices, uh, he played, he practiced like a champion, prepared us um, for this game. So with him out, um, it, it, like you said, it was tough, but we fought through it and uh, we got the victory. Graham, you guys were down 18 11. It looks like you started to play kind of angry out there. You personally were the team. What was the emotion you guys were down and what changed things you feel like for you guys? Well, when you're down, it was never a good thing. <clears throat> um, People tend to separate and uh, everybody do the individual thing. But uh, with this team, uh, which is something I never felt with previous teams or teams throughout my years, um, we pull together. We pull together, we talk, uh, we listen to exactly what coach tells us to do. And um, it just everything just works out for us and works out in our favor. And then next we know we got the lead back, we're playing well. So those type of things we, we do and uh, those type of things Coach L taught us and we embraced it and we, uh, we took it into action today on the court. Durant, can you talk about after the game what it feel like to see, first of all, full building and then students storming the court and they lifted you up and all that? What, what was that like for you? It was great. Uh, just my, my, all three years, uh, me and Reggie always had this conversation. I say, uh, when I'm in college, there's one thing I always wanted. just want somebody, to start, uh, the, our crowd, just to storm the court and just uh, experience that feeling. And uh, I got it today and that was just one of the greatest feelings of my life. And uh, I was so happy. And, I was like, I was, I was finished telling Coach how, uh, like, running in the cow, just yelling, just being happy was more, I was more exhausted than actually playing in the game, so <laughs> it was pretty fun, though. Know? And that's, that's something a lot of people don't experience, and um, I'm one of the lucky ones to experience that with my team. Is it the way you envisioned it when you dreamed about it, or was it better, or the same as what you thought it was going to be? I don't know. I was, I was just like, my head was out there. I was just having fun. I don't know what it was like. It was, I was just happy and just joyful. I just couldn't stop smiling. It was just, it was just happy. I was uh, thankful for being around these guys, experiencing with the players just like Kenny Kaji and you know, things like that. Like I said, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Reggie couldn't be there, but I'm pretty sure he was in there somewhere jumping around. Kenny, you know what people were saying about what this game meant postseason wise and all that. Even though there's a lot of ball left, how much better do you guys feel? Right now, maybe about where you are, maybe you felt it in 24 hours ago. I think it's just like every other game. You know, it was just another game. We won the game. Now we have NC State coach, uh, at NC State. Pretty good team. They beat us here. So this game is over. It's in the past. Now we got to focus on NC State. Can okay, you guys knew though that you needed to get a, a win against a quality team? Like, I mean, a, a high RPI team. What not? I don't even think that motivated us. I think. Just having FSU in front of us, it's a rivalry game. We you want to win these games. We knew that, okay, we needed a quality win, but I think that knowing that it was FSU and that they beat beating us 12 out of the last 13, something like that. So we just wanted to win. How frustrating was their kind of late game tactics of following you and keeping sending you to the free line? How frustrating was that? It's not frustrating. You know, I mean, he likes going to the free line. Same. I mean, just three points, you know, so. I mean, I was going to rely on just trying to finish it, you know. Okay. Durant, 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 Durant,
you know, you jump out of them, go three pointers. You know, how crucial is that in expanding the league? Well, it is. Uh, uh, when it, when we go up like that, it, it's, it's it's always important. Um, we like to, we like to win, so we always want to be on top, be on top of our game. So uh, when we end up like on a run like that, we just try to keep it. And just just try to keep our poise, keep our composure, and just continue on that run. Dwayne, you hadn't played on a team that had beaten Florida State. You hadn't played on a team that had beaten Florida State. What does that mean to kind of get that? Well, it's great. Um, I got a lot of friends on that team, so when uh, we beat them, it's, it feels good. Um, we had a lot of bracket rights. Uh, it's our rivalry team. We have, like Kenny said, I think we lost them 12 out of 13 times. So we get a quality win like this, it's great for us. Um, feel good. You know, I appreciate sure everybody on my team for the same way. There were four guys in doubles, seven guys with at least six tonight. Is this pretty much the way? Is that the formula that you guys are going to have to have? But just getting contributions from so many people to the rest of the night? Well, it's always nice to have it like that. Um, it's a different, different game every night, different opponents. Um, some people play well, some people don't. Um, it's just you never know how it, how it turns out. And tonight it turned out how I pretty much think Coach L would envision, envision it, and um, that's the way it went. You're right. You're, you guys are losing by six, and then the Corey Jones has a monster block. How did that change it? Well, he, the Quan Jones always make key plays like that. He's a great athlete, um, especially on the defensive side. So um, when he came with that block, it kind of uh, revved us up, and um, we kind of took it from there and went on our run. Thanks, guys.